Hello everyone, glad to have you with me. CK Too Much here, back at it again with God Empress Daenerys Targaryen, the Fury of the Giscari Empire. Uh, in the last episode, guys, we successfully liberated Volantis, and then we decided to turn our attention over to Tyrosh, who is actually in the middle of attacking Volantis in uh, a slave raid. Uh, as we can see here, yeah, Archon Zarafo, yeah, he is defending against us, but also attacking Volantis. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and call in my Dothraki tributaries for some help. Uh, and I will, yeah, I'm also waiting on my vassals as well. So, I finally got my armies reinforced after so many years. But it looks like there's a problem with my fleets. When I call them up, nothing happens. And I don't know why. So maybe there's a bug in the game. I'm not really sure. Oh, we need just a seer. Um, no, not the High Septon. I guess I could give it to the High Septon. Is he really my vassal? Maybe I should grant him independence. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. I'm going to give him independence. Uh, okay. I'll give it to this Yazak guy. He doesn't like me very much, but maybe I can change that. I can give him a little bit of money. If I raise him to nobility, he can get 15. Uh, okay, we can do that. So Yazak na Shezdal. Also, he's a genius. You know, he's uh, got good stats, so maybe I could win him over to my side. Uh, can't give him anything else. Okay, well, that might be enough. He seems to hate me. Ah, so I fired him a few times, and I didn't give him the regency. Uh, and he doesn't like that I made myself a god empress. Well, I can understand that, but hopefully he will serve me well. Okay, so... Uh, don't know what's going on with the bug, but luckily I have some money, so I'm going to call up some uh, sell sales. So we need, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think this will be enough. Yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and get all these guys together, get them on the boat, move. This, okay, look at that. Yunkai, New Geese, and Marine have all joined in. Ugh, Astapor, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Lazar is still getting fucked by the Dothraki. I'm in this weird situation now where my Dothraki tributaries, who I attacked in an attempt to end, or to conquer them, um, are now slave raiding. So it's kind of funny. So sometimes they're supporting me to end the wars, and then other times they are enslaving people so not a good look uh, for me so I'm gonna go ahead and make win the war my cause uh, okay so yeah so we'll go ahead here and pick them up at Giscar point all right and uh, look at that my Dothraki boys joining in I guess I will lead this army uh, I also have this King, Sir Alan Frey, my son, sent from the King's Guard. Um, but I'm gonna hand command over to. Yeah, you know what? Let's have Alan Frey <laughs> fighting beside me. Why not use him if my son sent him to me? Okay. Uh, so I'll go ahead and land here, and we'll start from Silk Head. Actually, you know what? Now that I th think about it, maybe I should leave a force here uh, in case they try to attack the capital. Hm. Uh, maybe we'll be okay. Actually, give me a second, guys. Um, I'm just worried about the music. Okay, there we go. Lately, I've just noticed that sometimes the music's too loud and I can't hear myself, but okay. So we'll go ahead and, uh, yeah, we'll... We'll, how should I say it? We'll land at Silkhead and we'll just kind of go northwest. Because it looks like Tyros is actually already 
being sieged at the moment. Yeah, uh, I'm presumably by uh, by. Actually, it doesn't say by who. Ah, uh, well, oh yeah, it's occupied by Volantis. Uh, but they're still somehow winning. Yeah, they have a lot of territory here, actually. Hmm. Very interesting. And then I guess after this, we'll go after Lys, who, very interesting, only has one uh, province. Wow, okay, so they lost all of their land. Yeah, because Lys uh, should have all of this. But it looks like they have lost some. Okay. Uh, yeah, and then you guys probably remember from the last episode, my son, I gave him the High Lordship of King's Landing, and he decided to make himself king. He's gotten a little bit of territory, and I think he even got the Riverlands to join in with him. But uh, he, unfortunately, was defeated because the Reach, the Rock, and the Stormlands all crushed his tiny little army. So even the dragons couldn't save him. Uh, maybe after this war with Butterwell... The trident will fall back under uh, Bailey's, but we'll see. Uh, okay. Yeah, so let's continue. I guess I'll send this tiny army up here. I guess it's better than nothing. Okay, so Lise has uh, joined in. Oh, jeez. Uh, okay, so... It looks like someone died. Yeah. Oh, well, thank God. Egnaz died a natural death. I don't know why he was screaming like that. I don't know if you guys heard that. Uh, okay. Should I stop by Lise on my way to Volantis? If they're going to send all their men out, it might be good timing. And then, sorry guys, it looks like we're starting to have a little bit of a slowdown here. Okay, who is this? So this is Lise. They're sending their men. I think I should follow them. 137 ships, that's quite a lot. Uh, I'm going to take Danny out of the army for a minute just because I don't want to get scurvy. I'll leave Alan Frey on there to get scurvy. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of follow them. I think they're probably going to Astapor. Yep, looks like it. Uh, okay, so Karth has changed their succession to primogeniture. Works for me. So Urathon uh, is going to hand power over to his son. who looks like he will be a good vassal. Okay, excellent. Um, okay, I'll buy her a new toy. No pleasing this child. I will get her married to someone, I guess. Uh, her father is Barkaz. Barkaz Gadis. Um, I believe I remember Barkaz. I mean, I guess I gave uh, Ekinaz, uh this lordship. So I probably just remember him from his time as a child. All right, where are they going to next? They're going to Western Slavers Bay, so we'll follow them. So they're probably going to Astapor. So you know what? Oh, my husband has not been himself lately. He's been losing weight and suffers from fatigue. Call my court physician at once. You know what? Um, I'll go ahead and put Daenerys back in charge. And let's go ahead and land at Giscari Point. They're probably going to land their guys directly at Astapor. Yeah, there's no battle upcoming, so that's good. Uh, okay. Oh, look at that. No. One side has 146 men. That is wild. Uh, okay. What? Okay, there's something wrong with this division. <laughs> um, Jesus, that's so weird. Okay, bizarre. 
Uh, okay, well, I think the, the game might be glitching out a little bit here. Hopefully it'll fix itself. Okay, so here we go. So we're going to have a battle at Astapor. Castle is safe. No worries, no problems. They have lower morale than we do, slightly. And we have a dragon, so I think we'll be okay. Okay, and uh, this war here is over. Not exactly sure what was going on there. Was he just subjugated? Yeah. Ah, okay, so that's what that war was about. You know what, maybe I can kind of broker a little bit of a peace. Maybe I can give the goddess girl over to Zatharek. Um, yeah, Halasa, how old is she? Oh no, she's three. There was another one. Yeah, yes. Uh, Hazin. How about you marry Zadrak? No? Why not? From infidels? What? Oh, he's Faith of the Seven. Interesting. Okay, very odd. Okay, so we'll go ahead and fight these, uh, Lycenes. I think they're called. Okay, slowly making our way to Astapor. It's taking a lot longer than I suspected. Okay. So I'll go ahead and deploy the dragon in battle. Dracaris. And there they go. They have been destroyed. Uh, I kind of don't want to fly back here, but it's possible that's going to have to happen. I am paying a lot of gold for these ships. Okay, so let's go ahead and get on board the boats. Oh, look at that. We got a little bit of war score for that. And Tyrosh is open, so let's go. I will temporarily... Ah, my, son, my husband is incapable. I'm kind of worried about what's going to happen once my son inherits Dragonstone. He'll be a little bit... I'm sorry, not Dragonstone, Marine. I feel like he'll be a little bit out of control. Um, like his vassals might bother him. Ooh, interesting. Something happening in Dorne. Yeah, Princess Arianne the Wicked. Is she having some issues? Ah, tyranny against Arianne. Okay. Very interesting. It's creepy to me that she married Oberyn. Okay, so very few people stayed loyal. Just the the Danes. A uh, few vassals here. Uh, what's going on with Baileys? He's just kind of licking his wounds. I think he's waiting until he gets more men. Yeah, he, he can get up to six... 6,900 men from King's Landing, so I think he's just waiting for that. Honestly, 7,000 men and a dragon? He could probably take on uh, Westeros with that. I mean, Aegon did it. And now people are used to being under the dragon. I could also attack Lys maybe later on my way back, because I'm probably going to go for them next. Although, honestly, maybe I should just dragon conquest them and then take the stepstones and... Oh, here we go. So more men in Astapor. That's great. Okay. So let's go ahead and land our guys here. Although, wait, what's happening? They are under siege. Ah, dang it. Okay. So then we'll go to Little Tyrosh. But they... This is kind of stupid because they probably don't have enough men to siege. And if I landed my men there, I wouldn't be the leader of the siege. Oof, new geese is getting effed. Okay, we'll wait a second and then we should be able to deploy Drogon in a moment. Question is, should I get married again after he dies? Am I there? 
Ugh, sorry guys. I'm starting to worry that maybe this... Oh, here we go. I'm starting to worry that maybe my game is starting to slow down a bit. Alright, so Dracaris. Okay, we managed to get them without losing Drogon. That's great. Okay, there we go. Yeah, let's see what happens to them. Hmm. Okay. You know, I might uh, get rid of these ships because I'm losing a lot of money. Maybe I'll just get them back onto the mainland. Okay, yeah. So lease is about to come back. Let me see what the siege looks like. Once they're there. Okay, they're committed. Tyros has 40 men. <laughs> I guess a scouting party or something. Uh, okay, I have some truces expiring with some... Oh, I guess those are people I gave independence to. All right, how are we looking here? Uh, okay, that's not bad. Um, I should build some more stuff so we can have a higher fort level, but they should be able to hold out for a while. Um, okay, let's go ahead and deploy Drogon again. Oh, wait. What did I just do? I just clicked something that I didn't mean to, I think. Maybe I didn't, okay. For a sec, did I click give Osnak a dragon? Did I? No. I could have sworn I just clicked, oh, maybe I just scrolled down, okay. Dracarys. Okay, good, Drogon got away without a scratch, again. I could go for the assault, nah. No, 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 I thought I clicked, okay. Oof. Okay. Yeah, I'm losing a lot of money on these ships, but 18 a month. Maybe I can get some people I can ransom. I guess I don't have any kids there, but maybe grandchildren. Okay, let's go ahead and deploy Drogon once again. And then we should be able to assault them. All right, so little Tyrosh has been taken uh, completely. Okay, great. Uh, okay, so regular Tyrosh is open. I'm gonna see how weak it is or isn't, and then if it's if it's gonna be too tricky for me to take it right now. I'll go back to Astapor and uh, save them. Uh, okay. First, we gotta go through this auto save here. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's not bad. All right. So I think I'll try to do that. I think we can do Drogon once. Um, and then we should be able to make it back. So. Dracarys. Oh, look at that. He got away with no scratch. So we've had some lucky attacks with Drogon. And let's see. How is Astapor holding out? Pretty well. Pretty well. Okay. Yeah, I think I will go for the assault once it's available. I think we'll be able to get back in time. It would be cool if there could be like some slave revolts while I was doing this. Uh, should we go for the assault? Maybe not. Maybe can I deploy Drogon one more time? Time will tell. Jeez, every month it takes forever to turn. Okay, there we go. All right. Dracarys. Okay, I've had some good luck with Drogon lately. All right, there we go. 
So half his family put in the dungeon. Let's get back on the boat. So let's head back. Oh, look at that. So we won. Don't know how that happened, but we won. All right. Offer peace. Yes. All right. So Tyrosh is now a free, a truly a free city. Excellent. 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 Okay. So, um, yeah. So let's get our guys back. And I fulfilled my ambition. Oh no, I'm 50. Ugh, Daenerys looks so old. Well, hopefully she still has a couple more decades left. Um, because I feel... Okay, Bomo is here doing some raiding. I'll reappoint the old council. Uh, yeah, I hope that I have a few more decades left because I have not accomplished everything that I wanted to. Let me check if the fleets are working again. No, that's really weird. What about from vassals? From vassals, yes, but from my own demands, they're not working. Very weird. That's super weird. Uh, okay. So, calm down, computer. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll send our guys back. Um, and then I think we'll go on for our next conquest. Honestly, uh, oh, look at that. So, Missandei, again, giving us uh, some tax money, proving that she is a wonderful counselor and a wonderful service to us. Someone was asking if I could raise her to nobility. And I could give her a landed title. Ah, you know what? I should have given her Nath. That would have been good. Oh, interesting. I did not notice that little tiny island here. Ah, okay. You know what? Maybe I'll take this island and give it to her <laughs> uh, as reward for her service. It's not quite Nath, but, you know, it's something. Um, okay, so this is Ego. You know what, Ego? Go fuck yourself. You have 600 men. You can't really offer me anything. Maybe for the other guy, I would have done something. I forgot what his name was. This guy, yeah. What's his name again? Jomo. No, Kobo. No, Jaco. <laughs> Kal Kobo. He actually has a decent amount of men, so I might actually help him. Uh, sure, I'll take 10 gold for her, although I guess I should have kept her as a hostage. Uh, and I guess, yeah, I'll hope to fall in love. <laughs> my pretty, my prisoner has res requested an audience. Uh, sure, I can release him. Didn't even know I had him. So my husband is not in great shape right now. I really, really, really wish that I could help them. It makes me so angry that I can't interfere on their behalf. Because they are my vassal. It's just because of the Mega War system that I can't do anything. Oh, snap. So that's where the rest of my men were. Is that also where my ships were? Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. That's so funny. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. I was wondering, I was like, where are my ships? So they're all in Karth. So I don't have any ships here? Do I have, uh... What is it called? A shipyard or something? Small shipyard? Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and build a shipyard here. Okay, I feel like an idiot. Um, okay, so I'll go ahead, yeah, because I was like, I have 16,000 men, why do I only have that, you know, small number? Alright, so I think I'm going to go ahead, guys, and call this episode for now. We didn't do too terribly much, um, but, you know, my computer being this slow is kind of bothering me, and I'm sure it's bothering you guys too, so I'm really sorry about that. Uh, I'll go ahead and bring down my levies. We have 291 unsullied left. That's pretty crazy. 
Um, what's going on here? Uh, New Geese is fighting against Pezara. Ah, okay. So Pezara is making a claim for New Geese. Can I force him to make peace? No. Like, there's no option for me to f join the war with him. It's really frustrating. Like, I wish there was something I could do to help him. Let me take a look at some of these options here. So, the Dragon Conquest didn't work. When I did Dragon Conquest, he became my tributary, not my vassal. What if I did Anti-Nomad? Uh, so if I do this, all women and, and slaves will be my subjects. Uh, he will be imprisoned. Okay, you know what? I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to do that. So Ego, or Ego, whatever your name is. Yeah, my former tributary. Can I... Ugh, I can't release him. Ugh, okay, I would release him, but okay. And uh, Versalo, yeah? Versalo, alright. So we are going to do an anti-nomad war against him. I can't. Why not? It's not a pacifist. Oh, this is stupid. Okay. Mm, okay. Because of the Mega War system, like the game does not understand that like I should be defending them. And it's really frustrating. But okay. Well I guess I could do another war, couldn't I? Couldn't I like do a colonization war? Uh so hmm. Or just emancipation even? What happens if I emancipate them? They would get indentured servitude. Maybe I should do that. You know what? I'll test this out. So we're going to go ahead and F these guys up in the next episode, guys. If that works, then maybe I will have something to do about these Dothraki. And yeah, let me go ahead and get my allies in on this. Okay. All right, guys, so I'm going to experiment a little bit because I, I do need to do something about these Dothraki. Um, and eventually, then, we will continue our emancipation. Uh, we will go over, probably Lys will be next since they only have this one territory. Then Mer, or Mir. Um, maybe I could do Lor Lorath, Norvos, and Cahor all at once since they're so far away. <laughs> Uh, and then honestly, by that point, Daenerys is probably going to be pretty old. So if I wanted to continue my westward con, or my eastward liberation, it might have to be picked up by our son Griseries. But we will see. But I think the Targaryens will liberate the world. Whether it's Daenerys, I don't know. But you know, honestly, from Karth to Westeros being slave free, that'd be pretty good. So I think that's gonna be my goal for now because uh, she probably has 20 years max left. <laughs> so all right guys, thank you very much for joining me. I will see you in the next episode where we see if we can try and figure out how we can stop the Dothraki from terrorizing me and any future free cities. Uh, so join me next time guys and we will figure that out together.